This robot vacuum has state-of-the-art computer vision, and it knows your house better than you do. It patrols your home using photorealistic scans. That means it actively blueprints your space all the time. Plus, it understands English. But why does a robot vacuum need to know so much about you, and how does it all work? The question we asked ourselves is if you were to build fully autonomous indoor robot, one that just does everything for us, what does it mean? Matic is more than a vacuum. It's really about understanding rhythms of each family, each home, using AI and intelligence to make our life easy and give our times back. I mean, this is crazy. What we've done at Matic is create a seamless experience between homeowners and the robot where you can naturally tell robot what to do, when to do, how to do it, and it just does it for them. Is Matic about to revolutionize home robotics as we know it? Imagine never having to do a household chore again. Not because you're ignoring the mess, but because you have a robot that's prevented them entirely. With AI-powered computer vision, responsive voice commands, and precision navigation that conquers every corner and floor surface, Matic promises to elevate cleaning technology beyond what we thought possible. Keep watching to see the impressive tech powering the system and how it will transform your daily life. This is Hardware Nation. So, uh, should we try this thing? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's pull this up. Perfect. Press the power button for me. Yeah, so, so when it actually comes down, we wanted to say hello. Okay. This is a robot, it's coming into your home, it's gonna be part of your family. Our idea was that, hey, even as the robot rolls out, can I put a fun smile on user's face? Sure. Can it, can we make a connection? Yeah. I mean, you put a smile on my face when it said hardware yeah. nation. I mean, that's fucking me, it's cool. <laughs> that's, that's right, that's exactly yeah. right. And that was the experience we wanted to have that, hey, I'm here, I'm my own person, I'm gonna help you clean, but guess what? I'm also someone that wants to be part of your home. Mehul and Navneet are the minds behind Matic. These two are creating the technology that could fundamentally change how we interact with the space that we're living in. I'm Mehul. I'm co-founder at Matic, focusing on product and business side of things. We started Matic in 2018. We used to work out of loft in my place. That was just me and Navneet. My wife very much jokes that Navneet sometimes is my first wife because we've been so close together. <laughs> Uh, maybe we got it in the shot, huh? I'm Navneet Talal. I'm the founder and CEO of Matic Robots. I'm also an acting chief technology officer, heavily involved on the engineering and the machine learning computer vision side. We started with this idea that we want to build an iconic product and we want to solve a real problem. So that's how we started out. And it has been a long journey. We are six plus years into this company and it hasn't been easy. But if you're a hardware founder, robotics founder, if you believe in your product and conviction, well, just keep going and things will work out. Okay, it's rolled off the ground. We're yep. ready to get it. So like, can I go put this thing in, in my dining room and it's it's ready to go? Or like, how do we set this up? So what this does is just like a human being, it actually comes out, uses the two cameras in the front, two cameras in the back, one on the top, and it builds a full 3D view of your home. And how frequently is it getting this view? It's like, constantly it's, doing it. Okay, so, it so does every it the single time Every single runs. time. Every single time it runs. Using its vision, it's constantly mapping and localizing itself using technology called simultaneous location and mapping. Okay. SLAM. Very cool. And that allows it to build intelligence of your home. That is amazing. In 2018, Navneet and I left Nest and Google. We were just two dads, family people. We realized that the amount of time you just spend in keeping your home clean and doing those mundane and repetitive chores is gigantic. So we started digging and turns out on average, families in the United States will end up spending about 60 hours a week doing these chores. That's even bigger than driving. This also resonated with us because we grew up in late 90s in India. We went as a middle-class family growing up. So I remember that our clothes would not only get washed every day, they were ironed every day. So the irony was that we grew up in a far cleaner home environment in late 90s in India than our kids were growing up in the United States. And that's where we just thought there was a real problem to be solved here, that why can't we live in a perpetually clean home? I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to see this thing in action. Should we get right into it? Let's go. Ahead. So first thing it does, it says, hey, I'm in a new home. Just like another human being, I'm gonna start mapping and exploring. And now it's gonna start building the map. Oh, wow. So in real time, it's actually it's... creating the map and the carpet matches. That's right. It's incredible. Now, what is amazing is already, even though it's exploring over that side, I can just tell it to come here. 
Wow. This is, I'm gonna go on that Let's perspective. Let's make it a U-turn. Yeah. Here. You okay. can point out exactly where you wanted it. That's right. It's... The other cool part is you can see in here, you can observe wire and if I tap it, it already detected wire. So it wow. knows this is carpet. So it knows the wire over there. Yeah, right? and that is the idea that in real time, can it constantly map? And if I move out of the way, actually you'll see that it actually disappears as well. So some of the, uh, you will see the feet are disappearing and appearing. And that's the idea behind it here. It's, it's creating the photorealistic imagery, but also doing it in real time. This is a universal problem that you're just doing same thing over and over again. Me as human, I know exactly what I want. Why can't I tell that to the robot? And for that to happen, robot has to understand our home the way we do. So can we give robot an ability to see the world using computer vision? And these are all the things we thought were feasible if we were to start with AI. We're building state-of-the-art home cleaning machines, but our journey really started with our background in computer vision, which we believe was the missing piece for robotics. The first Roombas, which we are all familiar with, launched in 2002, now it's 2025. And yet there is not a single new robot in this space that actually seems different or innovative. And we just saw this huge opportunity to bring artificial intelligence, computer vision, and AI into the real world and reinvent the robot. And that's what inspired us. We looked at the current state of other products and they didn't even have cameras on them. I knew internally in my heart, like, hey, the time is right to actually ship these algorithms on devices and truly automate the task of cleaning floors completely. Well, if fully autonomous cars drive like humans, then in this case, the robot should clean like humans. So we wanted a robot that would understand our home the way we do, that would learn our preferences the way we do, that would see it, navigate it, and deal with it the way we do. And because we don't want to live in a momentarily clean home, we want to live in a perpetually clean home with perpetually and continuously clean floors. If there is any product which is supposed to automate any task in homes, then it has to be dependent and conditioned on the cameras as its primary sensor. We decided that using a bunch of cameras on the device, we're gonna render entirety of the space as just like how people see their homes. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. Just getting a behind the scenes, they're testing out all the cameras, the, the amount of detail that goes into this product, I could have never imagined. So all five cameras need to know where they are with respect to each other. Got it. So all, all they do is they look at this board from all different angles, and we use this arm to move that robot. And then once it gets calibrated, it gets tested, and then it gets shipped. When we started building Matic, we realized that typical robot are sort of like Christmas tree of sensors. They have your proximity sensors, cliff sensors, all kinds of things, but they don't necessarily have the brains, the algorithms that are necessary. So we just decided to build Matic in a very much the way humans function. The thing is that nothing like this has existed till date. So we had to rebuild entirety of that stack from cameras to the location of the robot in the home, rendering off that space for the customers, and really put into thought about how the user will actually control it. We know that on carpets, we can't mop. So robots should also know that. We also know that, hey, kids come home after 3 p.m., they eat snacks, and then dining area is more likely to be dirty. So robots should understand that as well and just go and clean. So all this felt like there was a new opportunity to think this entire product in a completely different way. Matic is still just the first product. It's the product that comes inside your home, acts as your assistant, cleans your floor, but then we want to go and give it an ability to go from clean homes to clean floors to elderly care to hospital care to all kinds of indoor use cases that are possible based on robotics. So what's it like to actually have a perpetually clean home? I got to put Matic to the test by making a mess at their headquarters. Let's see if this thing lives up to the hype. Rithwik, one of the best features of Matic is that it mops and it has a mop roll that self cleans as well. So little spills like coffee or wine or, or even milk, like the one you have in your cup, can be mopped up right away. So maybe we should try. I mean, maybe a little accidental spill sure. sounds okay. <laughs> sounds good, let's do it. All right. There you go. It's going reverse mode. Yeah. Wow. Very right. seamless. But the milk aside, I, I really do hate mopping. Pretty cool that this thing just did that so easily. Our homes are built for our 
perception system, which is eyes and brain in the same way Matic has five cameras and it sees your home the way you do. And what that means is that it knows that you have kids in your home. It knows that you have pets in your home, where the pet has a dog bowl. It learns all these nuances of your home and then it constantly observes. This is where robot starts to become much more intelligent and much more in tune with your life and acts like an assistant to you versus just a vacuum. This was the critical piece of the puzzle that many times we don't want to clean our entire home. Yeah. You know, I have a five-year-old, she hangs out on our family room rug, so just rug might be dirty. But what I can do is I can just say clean area, tap on this pencil I can, and I can just draw it. Wow. As a user, hey, I just want to clean this rug. And now if I say vacuum, it says, oh, I got it. I'm going to come over and, and clean. It's and found a route and it's just going to come and vacuum. That's exactly right. Wow. Now what's cool, we're going to try to vacuum, but that's so a wire in its path. As it gets closer, you will see those wires there. The biggest thing we added is not only this map, but we humans have memory. We yep. know that I didn't clean over there because there was a wire. So in the same exact way, if I move it, it will it's going to come wire back and, and it's going to come back. Get your job done. That's exactly right. It knows. When Matic comes into your first thing it does is just like any other human being, it will explore, build a very high fidelity map of your home. And now you can give it a very specific instructions. You can say that, hey, Matic, go to the toy room and clean your toys. And then over time, it observes the rhythms of the things. What we are really pushing for is this idea that it just takes off multiple times a day and it looks for dirt and dirty spots in your home. And if it finds it, it should just clean it. This might seem like another robot vacuum, but think about the bigger picture. What Ring did for our front doors and how Tesla's autopilot transformed our driving experience. These were paradigm shifts in our daily lives. Matic isn't just cleaning your floor. It's reimagining your relationship with your home. And... That's where things really get interesting. Technology should amplify our life and allow us to do things we really want to do versus taking our time and energy away. One of our design philosophy at Matic was that if we build a quiet robot and it is fully autonomous, it would be moving and cleaning in your space all the time. So we wanted a robot which is endearing and also welcoming in a customer home. We realized that if home robots are truly going to be part of our home, well, they need to look like they belong to our home. They need to be friendly with our kids and pets. So first thing we wanted to do is build a robot that looked like a robot, that had this rounded corners and friendly look to it. But we also wanted a robot that would enhance the decor of your home. Because if we do our job right, and if we build a good robot, it should just become part of the family. There are a few fundamental reasons why we designed the product this way. If you look at an existing disc robot, because they are circular, they don't really go and clean that well in the corners. So one of the first things we decided to do was if the intention of the product is a cleaning product, then the cleaning head needs to be the key component around which the whole robot should be designed. We needed a higher ground clearance. So we build taller wheels, just like in an SUV. Now when Matic needs to get into a corner or hears a user commands, it can use these five cameras, four microphones, just as human uses our eyes and ears, observe the world, do the task, and come back up. But we didn't stop there. We asked what would be the ideal sets of features that a customer would want from the robot cleaning efficacy point of view. This robot is the quietest out there at below 55 decibel levels. So that what we're recording is really just a robot. Very cool. It's got its, got its own podcast studio. It's actually soundproof in here. So this is a sound room. We need to check that every robot that goes out is extremely quiet. What is extremely quiet? Like how quiet does it need to be? Quiet enough for us to talk and it doesn't interrupt us. Okay. So the microphone is measuring uh, decibels and it'll amplify certain frequencies that we also found annoying. True autonomy is incredibly hard. So within our office where we build our robots, we actually have mechanical pen in which we test the reliability of each and every single mechanical component. We have noise room in which each robot, before we shape it, we actually test if it meets our noise bar or not. When the robot sees the world, it also has to make sense of that world. That requires a very precise calibration of the five cameras. Execution is everything. And the way we think about it is, if you are going to solve a hard problem and make something meaningful, you have to be relentlessly resourceful. The disc robots, they were like robotics 1.0. They were amazing for the time they were innovated in, which is 2002. But just as web has moved from web 1.0 to web 3.0, with the advances in AI, specifically self-supervised learning algorithm and the computes that are available on the device, we thought it was time for robotics 2.0. 
And that's what Matic is bringing, that we are reimagining robots from scratch to be private, to be quiet, to be useful, to be elegant, to be friendly, and something that we've all dreamed about, which is the wall is in R2D2. I want to live in a perpetually clean home with perpetually clean floors. I don't want to do it myself, and I don't even want to think about it. We are here because we want to build useful products, products that people need and make an impact. Finally, we can be at peace in our own homes. If you're a technology enthusiastic, well, you've all seen Jetsons and you've always thought of building Rosie the robot. That is ultimately the future that can we have a robot take care of all of our home chores and that's where we want to go. And then ultimately, can we really create an assistant that actually takes care of everything? So can we go from floor cleaning to organizing home to organizing our life and have a robot that just does it for us? And that's really the future of robotics that we are aiming for. And now more than ever, we think it's feasible. When I look at these breakthroughs, the way that these robots see our homes, I can't help but think about my mom who would spend hours every day just trying to keep our house clean. Once we get this right, our kids won't even believe that there was a time where they had to do chores. They'll grow up in homes where they can focus on what matters most, pursuing dreams, making memories, and probably bigger messes than we've ever seen before.